Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video tutorial, we will learn that how we can use one slicer for two different data sources, or you can say two different pivot tables from two different sources uh, for your dashboard reporting or any other purpose. Okay, so let's get start. I have one data here which consists of some columns like order ID, order date, customer ID, customer name, city, category, right? and and some other columns like quantity revenue shipping fee that's the one data i have another data uh, a different data uh, that is payment type product name category and unit price now what i want is i am creating a dashboard and i want to use a slicer uh, and there are two different sources and two different pivot tables but should be update with a one single slicer okay so need a common column which is available in both the different data sets so the category is the column uh, which is available in both different data sets and i have uh, make another list a separate list for it and i will use this as a slicer okay let's convert this first data into a table format so for doing that i will go to insert click on table click ok now go to table design tab on top right side let's rename this table as master db press enter and let's move to the next data which is on the right side let's select all these four columns let's convert that into a table so insert table make sure that my table has headers checked okay now let's rename this as a database and the list uh, in the third data which is just of one column we will be using that as a slicer for connecting two different data sources okay so control T which is the shortcut key to convert into a table format click OK and let's rename this as category right now the next step is to basically create a relationship and then creating a power pivot to use a slicer for two different pivots and data sources so for doing that i will click on data tab okay that's here data tab and then i will click on relationships icon okay so let's create two relationships here click on new now here you need to identify the fact table and a dimension table so fact table basically stores observations or events in the real time that contains duplicate records whereas dimension tables is unique in records okay so here first we will select the master db which is this particular data set and the foreign key uh, which is the common column which we have identified that is category we will connect this with related table that is category table and we just have one column and that will be called as primary key there okay click ok that's it let's create one more relationship for the other different data source that is name as database let's select the common column which is category let's select the related table that is category and we have just one column which is here okay we are connecting this particular column with this table click ok now we have two active relationships that's it close now what we're going to do is we will be going to again data tab and click on this small icon that is power pivot window that will open up a power pivot window and if if i go to the diagram view you can see there are three tables and that is connected with one to many relationship and the common column is category so i can hover my cursor and you can see the highlighted field here right so now our last step is to create a pivot table so on the home tab click on pivot table let's say onto a new worksheet right so let's say from the master db from the first data source we want to see city wise revenue okay and then let's copy this select this existing pivot copy paste some to the next columns and let's change some of the fields from here let's say this time we want from database payment type and unit price now these are two different pivot tables basically all together it's a power pivot so from two different data sources okay 
and we want a slicer which is commonly available so that is category okay so I will go to analyze tab which is on top right side and then I will click on insert slicer let's click on all tab check mark the category click OK and that's added a slicer for me now when I click on any of the category see there is a one change uh, only one uh, pivot table is being updated so right click on the slicer go to report connection make sure the other pivot table has been check marked click OK and now see when I click on any of the category item these both two pivot tables are being updated because on the back end we have created a relationship and these are coming from two different data sources right here it is so this is the first data source this is the second but we have identified the common column and using as a slicer uh, creating a relationship and in the power pivot right so this is how you can use this technique uh, in your dashboards thank you